All right, well, good morning for the second time. We're actually up much earlier to go play volleyball. No, I have to call her. I don't know whose idea. Actually, no, I do. It was your idea. You did this. It's seven in the morning. It's really cold and windy outside, and we're going to play volleyball. Play volleyball at noon or one o'clock? Why seven a.m.? Who decided this? Where's the car? I don't even know where I parked. It's over here. <laughs> I said it before, but people on this base really balling out. R8s, Mercedes. People balling out here. And now we're back. So good morning again. We're going to the beach to get some food, and then we're off to our first house plant of the day. I'm actually really excited about this one. Really big house, the driveway, the garage, the little like area on top of the garage. It looks really cool. It's a little bit of a drive, so we'll see how far it actually is. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this one, and we might try what works out to see some cars today. It just depends if they're available or not, but we will see. Germany's weather is very similar to Florida. It's hot one day. Well, not necessarily hot and humid, but it's warm one day, and then it's colder the next. Very similar to Florida's never making up its mind weather. Not bad. Let's see if you're done on base. All right, first house of the day. So, uh, I've been telling you guys this house has two car garage and like a little balcony on top, but there's actually four car garages here. Now, one we can't use, but the big one and the single one we can use. So, there's actually a three car garage and this giant lot. So, like, this is where you come in. There's a little bakery across the street. So main lot here, we can have this garage and this double garage. We can fit three cars in a garage and there's this entire lot. Like how big this is. So your main road is a little, like actually there's a river. There's actually a little river in our front yard. So this is the front yard of the house. That's the house there. Come around the corner, the main driver entrance here. And then this is the entire driveway. We can use that garage those two, this entire space here, there's stuff up top there. Dang, I was only expecting these two, but then getting these two is definitely the way to go. Look at how much space is in this lot here. And they got the cool little like dividers up here. Interesting. Very good size garage, has a little like, it recedes back a little bit on both sides. This side's pretty deep in the corner that goes over maybe about three or so feet. Actually has an electric garage opener on this one and the other, which is super nice. Little window in the back section. We'll see the next one real quick. And this is the single one. Goes back pretty far. That's a pretty deep garage. Now you can fit a, a bunch of, you can fit a car here nicely and tools behind it if you needed to. Again, electric garage opener is amazing. I already have the foam on the wall so you don't mess up your car doors. But dang, I'm hyped on this. I haven't been in the house yet, but this driveway plus this and this, like that's got me hyped. So it has a huge front yard. Like I said, there's a stream over here, which is pretty cool. Our own little, little kind of stream going through the front yard, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see how inside is. Like the marble stairs. I guess let's see. Laundry room, I would say. Yeah, laundry room. Nice big laundry room. Bedroom up front. Little, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, kitchen. So there's a kitchen downstairs and upstairs. So this was a apartment upstairs and downstairs that they put together. Another little back room over here. Looks like storage in this one. Yellow storage closet. I see a shower and a bathroom in there. And then we'll go upstairs now, I think. All right, we're upstairs now. That's over the, the driveway area, which is super nice to have that. And then, let's see, we got bedroom here. 
that kind of connects to this bedroom here. I guess it could be like a living room. I would assume so, probably. And then more bedrooms. Ooh, balcony. Very nice little balcony overlooking the front. Nice little wood piece back here. So I guess this could be like your master bedroom upstairs. I know it's kind of hard to tell this house because it was two separate houses, so there's like a lot of doubles of things. There's another kitchen or something too, I think. Another bedroom, little like storage or office kind of thing. Here's another bigger bathroom here, another shower, bathtub, sink. Then I think this is the upstairs kitchen. Yeah, upstairs kitchen overlooking the driveway. God, that is like my favorite part of the house. Look at this. On top of the garage little area, garage, garage, driveway, like this is great. I didn't even realize, but there's a castle right there. Look at that. That's awesome. I want that. The little patio area. This is really nice. This area is cool. To the back side. This is nice. I like this. Little skylight. That's cool on top of the garages though. And then over to the front. Alright, thoughts on that one? I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. That's a lot of house like that. It's two separate apartments that got merged to be one. Um, so it's, it's, it's a lot of space. So we could do like our own separate offer. We do it as much as possible, honestly. There's two kitchens, there's two full separate houses. It's a lot of space for sure. But the driveway slash garage slash cool little landing area on top of the garage situation is really making me want the house. The yard's super nice. Like, I don't know. Like, what do you think? I like it a lot. I like the house a lot. So we're, we're going to kind of see how this drive back is. I said it's about 27 minutes. Um, but it's a very straight shot, main roads and highway, so there's no like back roads, so that's very, very good. But I, I can't get over it, like, I can't get over it. Like in the picture, we saw the two garage, we're like, alright, that's awesome, two-car garage, and then the driveway, that, that already sounds pretty good. But we show up, like, man, there's four garages here, and then we get the two bigger ones that both have the electric door opener. And thinking about it now, if the person renting that one garage at some point decides to not rent anymore, we now have four garages and an awesome driveway. So, I mean, like, ah, I don't know. I don't know, it's awesome. Three car garage and a driveway is definitely a selling point. We have a house to see tomorrow, uh, the big farmhouse, or the one with the big barn in the back. We'll have someone goes. It has the cool courtyard, the one car garage, and we. I think we use the barn for more cars, we'll just have to but see, but. The owner has to. Oh, yeah, so us. the owner, this one we tried to hear back from for the longest time, never heard back. We finally heard back yesterday, but I guess they saw somebody yesterday, but the owner has to, like, almost like an interview process, the owner has to pick. The person he wants to uh, rent his house. So even if we like it and want to take it, we still may not get picked. So if that's the case, this one's definitely a great option. Like I said, it's a little big for us, just two of us. Um, but I don't know. The garage situation is very, very awesome. Like I don't know, man. We can fit so many cars in there. The the, the um, all the yards very, very big. And this is a nice little area. The town's nice. There's a little baker across the street. The giant castle on top of the hill. He said that's one of the biggest, um, well, what was a castle? It's a ruin now, but one of the biggest ones um, ever. And they do festivals and stuff there, so that's really exciting. <sighs> I don't know, man. I like that house a lot. And there's also a guy right here, bam, with a bento. We'll be friends. And we're back. So the GPS said 29 minutes to base. We just made it here in exactly 20 pretty much. Not to be that fast every single time, but this go around, 20 minutes isn't bad. And by no means is this car fast. <laughs> this car is so slow. It can't get out of its own way. Like you're to the floor and you're just going nowhere. But 20 minute drive is not bad. But I'm so excited to see the house tomorrow. Hopefully it's very, very nice. And if we do like the house, hopefully they pick us because that's a, that's a big factor. They don't like us and uh, you need to be nice. So uh, the plan for tomorrow is I'm leaving the camera in the car. I'm not going to walk in the house and film. I'm not going to talk about cars at all. We're just going to be very just like, hi, we're here. <sighs> Hopefully this goes well. Dang, Supra number four on the base. There's so many. I want one, please. And this cool little thing here. It's a Peugeot. And it looks kind of sporty. Like a stretch Audi TT almost. All right, we got the Mark 7 GTI and our kind of rolled up. It's cool seeing these things roll around now. I like this wagon. And Traco. Right there. 
And there's four in base now. Two white ones, the gray one, and this black one now. One thing about Germany that I'm probably not used to, all the entrances to driveways, shopping, everything is like a curb. So like in America, this would be a curb that you wouldn't go over, but in Germany, this is like the normal style entrance to almost everything, and you always drive over this. So for low cars, that's a bit not okay. I don't think I'm used to this or not. Do you like these curbs or no? No. I'm not a fan of these things. Like, like look at this. So normally, that would be like a normal curb you would stop at in America, but over here, that's always the entrance to anything you're going to. That's like the entrance to everything. Back home now and back to scouring the internet on mobile DE for more variants. I check every single day just to see what pops up. This one here is actually new. The hood scoop thing on it. That's some rust though, but I actually found a Golf 3 Vero with a 16 valve. That's pretty cool. And it has the Recaro seat in the front. And in the back. This is actually pretty nice. Everyone says they love the 16 valve. It has a cool little wood steering wheel on it. Bam, 16 valve. <laughs> slow, slow. I win. Hey, I win. Look, the face of a loser. <laughs> loser. <laughs> We've been seeing this one around a bunch. Gold TSW wheels, red Mark 6R. Ooh, look at it. Little APR sticker. I also saw uh, yesterday a dark blue Audi S4 with a Euro tuning air freshener hanging down there, which is crazy to see all the way in Germany to see Euro tuning air freshener, which is so sick. So that's awesome for you guys. I actually really like these Lupos. Look at that, little Mark 7 GTR or R. I don't know, the Lupos are cool though. You get those things for so cheap, but they have like 50 horsepower, which is terrible, but they're cool. What is this? It's kind of nice. That GTI is APR as well. And look at there's my R8 chilling again. I think you can hear it. We're actually following GTI. We're gonna park by this car. I wanna see it. Okay, I'm just gonna park here. This thing's dope. APR side. There's actually like three or four like APR cars out here. Actually more than that, probably like five or six, I would say. Pretty cool though, a little diffuser on the back. I thought he had his Instagram name on the back, but he doesn't. I like it though. It sounds really good. Sounds good. His lip has seen better days, but the car's pretty nice. Dang, first S team of the base. I like it. And it looks clean. This guy's got a pretty cool, like, I'd say, approach or show variant. It's got the Vento front end. Actually, this is a, well, Vento front end here, but then this is an American spec bumper VR6 slip. Cool little vented fender. It's painted like a nice, like a Mataki brown. 2.9 VR6 synchro. It's a pretty nice car. Tan leather interior. He has the um, the Audi TT door handle all around, which is pretty nice. Not bad. Not bad. All I know is I have this ship knob sitting right here. Whenever I get a variant, this is going in the car. This has been sitting since. Oh, I got it back in Florida, so just waiting for a car to put it in. Ooh, so tonight we're doing. This is what we're doing tonight. What is this? Um, bread and baked chicken and bread and baked chicken. I'm gonna be sauteing the mushrooms and the asparagus. We have some potatoes to bake as well. And then that's it. Like garlic roasted potatoes. Yeah, we have uh, garlic and her with a little bit of this uh, spice here on there. Chicken, potatoes are going in the oven get baked. And then I'm gonna do the asparagus and the mushrooms. It's gonna be good. Mushrooms are going. Asparagus. Careful. The chicken, oh it's hot. Oh look at it, it like instantly fucked in my camera. <laughs> okay, we can't see more, but it looks good. Ding, dick. It's all to work. This looks delicious. Check this thing out. So this one is on sale on the, the German uh, eBay for 900 euros. So we're a little over a thousand, uh, thousand US dollars. But this thing is so, like you can see right here, there's no rust in the fenders. Super, like, it's so incredibly, what's happening here? What is this? Incredibly mint. 
nice red. This is actually the Joker edition, so it has the really cool seats. You can see these here. The nice, cool, like the Harkin style seats. Uh, it's a manual, of course, TDI, uh, black interior. Really, like, it's just nice all around. Like, I haven't seen one that's this clean, like, all around in a while. Like, super nice. I think this one has somewhere in the range of 260,000 kilometers, which is about 180 or so thousand miles on it. But like, the car is beautiful. The paint looks great. There's no rust on that I can see. It has look at this, the factory uh, VW so paint on there. Like it's it's super clean OEM. So this might be the one I go for. I don't know. I like it. But we're in this video here. If you're in the Germany area and you know someone selling a Golf 3 variant, whether it's a TDI or a VR6, I really don't want to get into um, the 1.4, 1.6 engines. I just don't think I'm gonna like enjoy those at all. The TDIs are very fun. Uh, Larry had a Mark 3 TDI, super fun. Uh, rolled coal everywhere. I don't want to do that here, but it was such a fun vehicle to have. So I could definitely really enjoy TDI. I feel like it'd be great. Um, if you know someone selling one, let me know. I did also see today, actually, I found, I found a 16 valve uh, Golf variant. But again, I still either want to do a, probably a TDI or a VR6, but mostly a TDI right now just for traveling purposes and traveling all for shows. That's gonna be the most economical one, and the car still looks great. And I'm gonna have fun with it, making turbo sounds, and it was whatever. Um, we have two houses to see tomorrow, and then by the end of tomorrow, we will hopefully know which house of the, the last three here that we're gonna pick. The one today was awesome, had three car garage, massive driveway with a possible fourth car garage, but the house is kind of big. So we gotta see. Uh, tomorrow we're seeing the, the like I guess the dream house, I guess. Um, the nice brick one in Wheeler, Wheelerbach at I think 2 p.m. and then actually at 5 p.m. So wish us luck. We're almost there. Uh, just about two weeks into Germany. We're gonna house soon. Get a car soon. Things are coming together. Don't forget. Be thankful. See you next time. Peace.